Hey guys, Snowdrama here, and welcome to part two of my JSON Utility System Serializable tutorial. In the last episode, we just went and we loaded a single item from a text file. We loaded this wooden sword item from this text file, and we loaded it into this public item, my item. That's all we did, it was very basic. Now we're going to talk a little bit about loading multiple items into the game. So let's say we wanted to add another item to the game. Well, then we have to create another JSON file, and then we could copy and paste this again and change the name, and then we wanted to add a third item, and, we'd, and then we'd end up with this. We'd end up with a huge wall of this load, load stuff. But anytime you see copy and pasting like this, we can actually definitely reduce that down to a much smaller, uh, much smaller bit. In this case, we're going to be reducing it down to a function. So let's get rid of those real quick. And so now we're going to create a new function in the lo item loader here. If you haven't already watched the previous episode, go watch that right now, um, because we're just picking up where that episode left off. So we're going to create a new function, uh, public uh, void. We don't actually need to do anything with this. Um, public void load item. So we're going to copy this down into here. And instead of hard coding this value right here, we're going to make this a path, just like we did in our JSON file reader. So string path, and we're going to then use that to load the JSON file into my loaded item, and then my item right there. All we have to do then in this is call uh, load item, and then give it the path that we, uh, that we had in there before. Now that loads a single item, but what if we wanted to do a list of items? So instead of doing public item, we wanted to say public list of item called items. So in this case, we want to actually have a huge list of items. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add the system collections generic because list is actually part of that generic uh, namespace. So we're going to make sure we pull that in and now we can use lists, which is just a big list of items. So at the end of this, after, instead of my item here, we can say item, my item, and then say items, which is our list, add my item. And this will add it to that list. So we can call it multiple times and it will, in it will create multiple items. So let's come back here to Unity. Now you can see that I now have a list here, which is right now of size zero. But if I were to say make it a size 10, you can see that I have 10 elements and each one of them is a type item. It has a name, a description, and all of that. So we have a list in the uh, thing here. So we're gonna set this back to zero. Um, one thing I do also want to do is that when we do this load items, before we start loading any of the items, we do want to initialize this. So we'll say items equals new list item instantiate. And that is going to be, that's going to basically zero out this whole list. Not that or it's actually going to initialize uh, memory necessary for this list to work. So now that we've done that, it should technically load five uh, or four wooden swords into it. There we go. So I've now loaded four wooden swords into this list of items. We don't want, let's say we don't want four wooden swords. This, uh, this is actually not going to be a list of items this is going to be a list of like all the items in the game we're gonna we're gonna quickly create a list of all of the items in the game so what we're going to do is we're actually going to create another class we'll come back to unity here and inside our items list here we're going to create a new c-sharp script called item dictionary and we'll open that up in sublime text Okay, now similar to item, we don't need all this boilerplate again because this is actually going to be uh, our structure that contains information about all of our items. So this is going to be another system serializable 
because we're actually going to store all of the locations of all of the files of all of the items we want to load into this item dictionary. So all this is going to contain is a public uh, string array of items. That's all it is. It's going to contain a big list of items. So let's go back to it. Let's go up to our resources folder here. And inside the items folder, we're going to create a new file called item dictionary. Dot JSON. And this item dictionary is going to just contain a list of strings. In this case, this this string that it's going to contain is going to be our items weapons wooden sword dot json basically what this is oh we'll say items sorry uh items colon and then similarly we'll use the square bracket and this will uh start our list so now we have a list of items in this json and all we have to do is then create multiple of that item so now we're going to load this dictionary, this item dictionary, into memory, and then we're going to iterate over this array, and we're going to load each one of the items out of this array. In this case, we only have the wooden sword right now, but this will load any JSON file that we define as an item. So let's go back to our item loader CS. So instead of copying and pasting this a bunch of times, we're actually going to do something else. We're going to first create uh, our load our item dictionary so item dictionary equals and we're going to make this one line because we know exactly what we're doing here we're going to say uh, json utility from json json file reader load json as resource and then the path to our item dictionary which is items slash item dictionary dot json that's our item dictionary file. So we're loading this as a resource into from with using our JSON file reader. So what so we now have this big long line here, and this will take the whole thing. It will go and take items uh, the items item dictionary.json. It will load it as a resource using our file reader as a item dictionary from JSON into our item dictionary called dictionary. So now that we have our dictionary, we can now iterate over that array because that array is now stored in our item dictionary in a string of, of uh, items here. So now we'll say for each string uh, item, uh, actually diction oh, dictionary item in dictionary, And so then we can say load item, just like we did before. And we just use the dictionary item. Oh, sorry, it's not, sorry, dictionary.items, because it is an object. So we're gonna get the items array out of the dictionary and we will iterate over it. And every time it iterates, it will go through a loop and set dictionary item to each one of the values in our, uh, in our array that we've defined in our JSON file. So now we have all these, these wooden swords, and now it will iterate over each one of these and load a wooden sword for each one. So instead of doing that, let's just create another let's create another weapon. So let's go under weapons, create a new file, and let's call this one the iron sword. All right, sword.json, and we'll just copy and paste the wooden sword into the iron sword, but we'll change it to say iron sword, and this will say a uh, U-R-D-Y sturdy iron sword its gold value is going to be 20 and it's going to have a power of 2 but it's not ID 0 anymore it is ID 1 so now that we have that loaded in th that created right so now we have another weapon actually let's go let's go ham and let's create four weapons we'll just go up the tier list so the next one we have is going to be, uh, actually, we'll, we'll actually go down a step. We'll say stone sword. So now we have a stone sword. We'll make our iron sword item ID two, and then we'll make our stone sword 
item ID one so they so that they go in order. They don't have to be in order right now. Uh, they don't have to be in any order ever. That you can make uh, the best sword in the game ID zero. It doesn't matter as long as the IDs don't overlap, and that's going to be important when we start talking about uh, getting away from that list that we have right now. Um, but we won't talk about that right this second. We'll just finish our stuff here. So stone sword. We'll do, say, a sturdy stone sword. Uh, it's going to be ID 1. It's going to be worth 20. It's going to have a power of 2. Our item, our iron sword, is going to have a gold value of 50 and a power of 5. So now we have three weapons. And then finally, we're going to have a diamond sword. Ah, I messed up the name. So then finally, we're going to copy the iron sword in here and we're going to call it diamond sword. It's going to be, its description is going to be, I can swing my sword, sword. And it's going to have an ID of three and a gold value of a hundred and then a power of 10. So now we have four different items and in our item dictionary, we need to define all of those uh, files so that they get loaded in. So we can just quickly say stone, iron, and diamond. So these are all the files that we just created. And so now when we load this, it will look for a wooden sword JSON and it will load it. And then it will iterate down to the next one, go to the sword, the stone, go to the iron, go to the diamond. And with that, we should be all set and it should actually load all of our uh, items here. There we go. Right over here, we now have a size four list which has, has the wooden sword, the stone sword, the iron sword, and the diamond sword. And all of them have all of their values loaded in. So there you go. There you have it. A, a way to uh, create items as JSON, basic JSON files and uh, being able to load them in. Now, the benefit to this, uh, to this you might ask, is uh, like, what, what is the benefit? You might ask, what is the benefit here? And the benefit really is that... Um, now, anyone who knows JSON and knows the structure of your uh, of your object, right? So let's say you're working on a team, and I want to add um, I want to add a adamantium sword to the game. I want a tier higher than diamond, right? So I don't have to go through any of the code. All it is is just a stronger stronger sword to diamond sword. I don't have to go through and edit a, a one of the the script files. All I have to do is add a new file call it adamantium sword adamantium sword.json i have to follow the same structure as we used for the iron for all the rest of the swords and then i could say its item id is going to be 4 and then our gold value will be a thousand because it's way stronger and our power is going to be a uh, hundred. I've just noticed that all of the, I just realized that without thinking, I just made uh, all, all the gold value is, is the power times 10. I totally just realized it and I didn't do it on purpose. This is five. So it's 50. This is 10. So it's a hundred and this one's a hundred. So it's a thousand. Amazing. So, now that I've added adamantium sword, now all I have to do is add it to the item dictionary. I just add another line to the item dictionary and um, and next time the game runs, it automatically loads it into the game. Oop. Did I spell something wrong? I think I spelled something wrong. Oh, for I added a comma at the end. Be very, very careful. Very careful, big warning, big big flashing warning here. Be very careful not to leave your trailing commas. Trailing commas are awful and they should not happen, but they do because uh, I work with PHP as a day job. Now when it runs, 
you will see here wooden sword stone sword iron sword diamond sword adamantium sword there we go much strong we have another item in the list so that's it for today we're going to stop there that's that's loading a bunch of different items into a list and going with that the next time we're going to to talk about uh actual dictionaries the actual dictionary structure you'll notice that i called uh this the item dictionary and that's mostly because i actually do want to use a dictionary structure here and that's why these item ids can't overlap they have to be unique but we're going to talk about that in the next episode leave a like and let me know uh to let me know that uh you like the video if you want to leave a comment just let me know what you want to see down in the comments subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys later peace out